All right. Hello, everybody. We'll see if uh, if this works. I'm trying to go live. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is gonna actually work because we do have some. We're in kind of a bad reception area, but uh, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. We'll we'll stream live for just a minute. But oh, this was a this is a great recovery. Awesome recovery, actually. Um, so there's the there's the payload. It's back. We got it back, and it's um. It, it was an easy one. Fortunately, we landed uh, out in this field here. Um, sounds and looks good. Awesome. Everybody can hear it. Good. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so we landed out in this field. I was directly underneath it. Hi again says, uh, I can't read it because my the contrast on my screen is hard. Marcel. Hello, Marcel on Facebook. Um, yeah, so we had... Um, I've got that new mobile app that um, that allows me to point the phone at it so I can um, follow along and figure out where the flight is exactly and basically point my phone to where it is to help me spot it during landing. And that worked awesome. Ah, it was so great. I spotted it at like 8,000 feet or 6,000 feet or somewhere in that range. I can't remember exactly where it was, but it was like directly overhead. I spotted it clear as day and I saw it come down the last 6,000 feet I was trying my hardest to be underneath it. I was like, I was like, I might catch this. It was directly overhead. I was like, I, I might be able to get under this thing because it was, it was way up there still. I had some time to run, but uh, unfortunately, this field, first of all, it landed really far away from the road. Like it was way out there, and this, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this grass is really, really tall. It was actually, it was actually quite challenging to get out there. Um, you know, not because I had to you know, hike or do anything, but like, it looks like it used to be a farm field. And it was, uh, at, at one point it was plowed. It's all overgrown now, but uh, like the, the ground was really, like really bumpy and just like ups and downs. And like, it was really, really quite a workout to walk through. I was sweating like crazy. So uh, it was, it was tough to get through there. Uh, and I tried to run, tried to run and get underneath it. It counts as cardio for the day. I know I was, I had to, uh, I had to wait for a minute before I went live because, uh, because I was like breathing incredibly heavily. It was <sighs> coming back from the car and like, I was just walking. I wasn't even running, but it was, it was a, it was a tough walk trying to get through all that. It's like, you know, it's like, looks like tire tracks or plow marks or something. And you'd go, you'd be up on a ridge and then you'd be down in the, down in the ditch. And it was like, just constantly. Oh my goodness! But, but anyway, so as it was coming down, I spotted it. It's like six thousand feet over my over me. You can't look up, but it's too bright. But spotted it overhead. The app worked perfectly, so I could spot it. And I watched it, and I started running. I was trying to get underneath it. I did film it. I, I can't I can't really tell what I got on film because I just filmed it with my phone. But hopefully, it's something decent. Um, I filmed it and I was running and I tried to get underneath it and then eventually I gave up. I was like, oh, I can't get through this stuff. There's no way I'm getting out there. It was getting ahead of me. So uh, so I couldn't I couldn't catch it. But that gives me hope for the future because this was it was really successful and I spotted it really, really early. And it was easy to spot. So in a future flight, maybe if it's a little closer to the road, I might be able to sprint and get underneath it and see if I can catch one. That's that's my ultimate goal, see if we can catch another one. Great, great, the app worked so well. Yeah, the app was awesome, worked out great. My two landing predictions, uh, something hap something weird happened right around 46,000 feet. There's gotta be a weird telemetry glitch that happened in my software because at 46,000 feet, the prediction system thought that the balloon burst. It tweeted out like, weather balloon burst at 46,000 feet, hooray! And I was like, what? Um, it didn't burst at 46,000. I think our max altitude today was about 103,000 feet. And, um, but anyway, so after that burst, the one prediction was like way off. It didn't, actually both predictions were having an issue. They were, they were both thinking that it was descending and they were trying to calculate the descent and they were coming up with weird values. And I was like, what, what is going on here? And so once it actually started descending, the, the new prediction system, let's see, blue, put on uh Put out a net and catcher's arms on the chase car. Yeah, right. We need a, we need a Mr. Go Miss Go Miss Tree. I don't I don't like that name. The the new, the new Mr. Stephen boat. Go Miss Tree. Uh, that 
that makes me think of landing in trees, which gives me nightmares. <laughs> um, but yeah, 103,000 feet is what the actual balloon burst was. And as it started coming down, the, the new predictor was working okay. That was fine. The old predictor was still giving kind of wonky results. Um, but then once it passed by 46,000 feet again and got under that, then both the new and the old predictor lit up and they were like, hey, I think we know where this is going to land. And they were, they were pretty close together. It seems like the new one actually got it a little closer, um, which is good to know because I just spent all that work making this new predict landing prediction. So uh, go tree cutter. I like that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the new landing predictor seems like was the winner today. Um, and uh, they both had some issues. Uh, until it got below 46,000 feet, but it was close enough that it I was able to get here barely in time kind of set up shop and then uh, I spotted it Six or eight thousand feet above me and watched it land and I got some video from it I was worried you would pass out from overheating in that jumpsuit. I, yeah, it was it was pretty warm <laughs> going out there um, Yeah, it, it was warm uh, what else were we going to say? Oh, yeah, 103,000 feet was our max altitude. I didn't see the exact, and I haven't opened up the data. We're going to do that uh, between now and the Falcon Heavy launch. So come back tonight for Falcon Heavy, and we'll look at some footage from the flights. We'll check out some data and see what see what we got for max altitude. Um, you'll definitely have to get yourself a, a truckla to be able to really recover them by hand. Yeah, right? That's what I'm talking about. Maybe i got to get, uh, get in touch with Simone. Simone... Yetz, I think, I don't remember, I don't know how you pronounce her last name. I think it's Yetz, right, or some, something along those lines. Um, anyways, the, uh, the woman uh, that just chopped up a Tesla and turned it into a truckla. I loved it. It was awesome. <laughs> so, landed, easy. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. The, the cut-down system, the big thing we were testing here today. So, we got here, and I did, uh, I did test it again out in the field. So, what I wanted to do was uh, I didn't I didn't need it today, but uh, I took it. You can actually see the the parachute is is no longer attached. Um, I did take some video of it. It's kind of crappy because I'm like trying to hold the camera and hold the payload and push the button and, and need an octopus need to be an octopus to do all that. Um, but I did test the cut down. What I wanted to do was get to the payload, hold it up, and uh, and see if the um, if the cutdown system would still work after landing to make sure that uh, if we had needed it, if it was in a tree, that it would cut itself, that it would cut down. And it did. It worked great. So uh, it, it didn't it didn't cut down during flight. That's always a plus. And uh, when I got out to the field and picked it up, it was still attached. And then I hit the cutdown. I armed the cutdown, sent the cutdown. It cut the string. It dropped. And uh, happy day. It was good. It worked. So... So that's the uh, that's the end of this flight here. Now I got to go back home. I got to take a nap, <laughs> um, and then we'll get ready for Falcon Heavy. We'll take a look at some of the flight footage, some of the data that's on there. We'll review. We'll get a we'll get a bunch of it posted on Twitter and Facebook here in the, the next hour or two because I'm pretty close to home. And so uh, I always like when it's an easy recovery. It's nice. Then I can continue about my day. I don't have to spend the next eight hours trying to pull it out of a tree or something. But but there we go. That's the update. I um, wanted to do a quick update so that uh, everybody knew what was going on. Uh, I do have some, like I said, I got some photos and some videos that I took before that were that are actually high quality. And uh, we'll try to post the actual landing video. And I don't know what I got there. Hopefully I got something. I'm pretty sure I got the actual landing itself. I don't know what I got when it was like straight up above me. It's hard to, hard to see where the balloon was in the camera frame. But I think I think that's all. Right? Did we do it? That, uh, thank you so much, Tori. Gave us another awesome flight. Do a short video video review on the Falcon Heavy stream. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to try to do is see if we can, uh, um, like, maybe while we're waiting for uh, satellite deployment during Falcon Heavy tonight, we'll, we'll, we'll have a little sneak peek, talk about, uh, talk about some weather balloon stuff, right? Why not? So, all right. I'm, like, super thirsty now. I, did, I already downed one bottle of water, and now I'm out. So now i got to go get more. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to go wrap up, and I haven't eaten lunch yet, so i got to still do that. And then we'll review some of this footage, and we'll be good to go. Hi, Tori. Who is this? Catherine. Oh, hello, uh, Catherine. Thanks for hanging out and joining in here. We're just about to wrap up. Uh, successfully recovered. Here it is. Where is it? There it is. All recovered and good to go. Um, 
I just got to review the flight flight footage. A couple of weird wonky things that happened uh, with the flight computer that I'm not. Sh I still got to sort out. I heard the I heard the computer reboot itself. I heard the reboot tones as I walked up to it, and uh, as I was preparing for the live broadcast this morning, it rebooted itself a couple times. So I don't know why it was doing that. I mean, the good news is it, it recovered itself. So whatever problem it was having, it uh, it rebooted and recovered itself, which is what it's supposed to do if it encounters a problem. It's supposed to reboot itself and start over uh, I would prefer it doesn't do that I'd prefer it just goes through the flight and not reboot itself but I guess I got to figure out why it rebooted itself it's kind of like a fail safe I don't really want to rely on that so I think we had a couple reboots during flights not sure what happened there uh, we had that GPS issue uh, that that might just be impatience um, you know we were kind of at crunch time during launch so the GPS issue might not really be an issue that might have just been crunch time that's usually why i turn on the payload like 20 minutes prior to launch instead of like five minutes prior to launch but uh we'll, have to, we'll take a look at that take a quick look at that and then the uh the anomaly alarm not working properly i think that's just an electrical connection issue well should be an easy fix for the next flight so uh so a couple things we got to review and try to fix on the payload but uh for the most part it, it worked like it was supposed to we'll have to see what the data looks like um, but we did get uh, did get good tracking the whole way. Landing prediction systems were okay, so so. At the at the end of the day, they did get me to the landing site. Can you tell us about today? Can you tell us about today tonight? I missed all this. Yeah, so come back. I'm gonna wrap up here now. Come back during Falcon Heavy. Uh, that's late tonight. Uh, we'll do another update late tonight. You can always replay this one too, because uh, it'll get it'll get saved. But uh, come back tonight for Falcon Heavy, and we will. Uh, We'll do uh, a little sneak peek of the footage, review some of the data, answer some questions there when I'm not kind of standing in somebody's field here. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll do a little recap. So we, we can do that tonight during Falcon Heavy. And then of course, we'll actually post a, a proper video at some point. It may be a little while um, before I do that, um, but uh, did you find it? Yep, we found it. It's right there. <laughs> there it is, recovered and good to go. So we're, we're all set, um, I've got it. Let's see, can't wait for the flight live stream. Can't wait for the in-flight live stream on the next flight. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, that's uh, next flight, Over the Horizon 18, we're gonna try to do live streaming, live video. I think we got it sorted out. Uh, we're gonna have to, now I do wanna warn you, we talked about the live stream. It's probably gonna be low quality video because I'm gonna start, the, the lowest quality video gives you the the furthest um, transmission uh, distance. There you go. So uh, we're gonna start with the lowest quality video that we can get, which is, it's still uh, 720p, but it's like uh, the bit rate is like one megabit per second. So it's a really low bit rate. So it gets kind of grainy looking, but um, we will, uh, uh, we're gonna try it on Overlook Horizon 18. We pretty much got it ready. We were testing it today during the live broadcast. It works. Um, we've got a much bigger antenna that uh, should also help with that. So I think I'm starting to attract the neighbors now. I see somebody walking out. So <laughs> I think they're coming to see why somebody with a flashing orange light is hanging out in the uh, in front of their house here. So they're walking over, but uh, I'm gonna end this here now so I can talk to them and let them know what's happening. But uh, thanks everybody for joining in. Join me Falcon Heavy tonight around, I think it's like 11 p.m. Eastern time. I'll put up a live event here shortly and uh, we'll get a sneak peek. All right, thanks everybody. Got to talk to the neighbors. All right, goodbye.